Okay, so here we are with 9.6. Identifying the center radius to the graph, um, a circle given its equation in general form advanced. So notice that here they have numbers in front of x squared and y squared. And if you watch the video in the last in the last topic, um, you'll notice that I said that there should not be a number in front of x squared and y squared if you're trying to graph a circle. Okay. And it's telling me I'm graphing a circle because it mentions the word right there, right, in the topic itself. So there should not be a number in front of x squared and y squared. And if there is, chances are, because we are graphing a circle, it's going to be the same number. And how do I get rid of that coefficient on both of those? You divide everybody by that coefficient. So I'm going to take every single term here and divide them by four, every single one. And so what I get is x squared plus six x plus y squared minus seven y equal to, that does not reduce, 15 over four, okay? Then I'm gonna rearrange it, and it's actually already rearranged pretty nice. I'm just gonna write it so that I can add those numbers I need to complete the square. And then remember, whatever you add to the left side, you also have to add to the right side. That's how the equations work. To keep it equivalent, whatever you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side. So then if I take this number and I divide it by two and square that, I get um, six over two squared, which is three squared, which is nine. So I'm gonna add nine to both sides. And then over here, I'm going to take negative seven and divide it by two and square it. But this doesn't simplify. So if I square this, I get positive 49 over four. So it's gonna be 49 over four that I add to both sides. And so then here, I get x plus three, x plus three, and then I get x plus three squared. Here, you might have a harder time trying to factor that. Okay, my suggestion to you is to use whatever, you wanna simplify this, but if you can't simplify that, that, even if you can, whatever was in the parentheses before you squared it is what's gonna end up going in here. So normally from here on out, I don't write this step anymore. I just go straight into this, okay? So whatever you get for B over two, that is what is going to go inside of that parentheses. When you're trying to um, factor it, it's always gonna be X or Y, whatever variable it is. And then here, it's going to be the B over two, sign included, okay? So if the b over two was positive, you'll put a plus. If the b over two was negative, you'd put a minus. So the sign will be included. So in here, when I took six over two, that's three. Positive, right? Positive six divided by two is positive three. And here, if I take negative seven and divide it by two, it doesn't simplify. It's just negative seven over two. And so that's what we get there. And if you're not sure, you can always put it here and here and foil it out just to make sure that you end up with this trinomial here. Double check yourself, right? But on the right-hand side, let's see what we get. 15 over four plus nine plus 49 over four. We actually get 25, which is interesting, right? And so then if I want to get the center, it's going to be the opposite signs, so negative three and positive seven halves. And then the radius is going to be the square root of 25, which is five, right? R equals the square root of 25. Now, we're gonna use that to graph. So this one, you may need to use the point um, function in the calculator. So, you can graph that fraction, but it's negative one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. 
I need more little dots than that because this is going to be off the grid. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so negative three would be here, and then negative, that's actually 3.5, so one, two, three, point five would be about right there. So you will plot the center first, right? And then you hit, so use this icon, little x, to plot that point. So you enter the x coordinate, enter the y coordinate, click on plot, it'll plot the little point for you. And it actually plots a little x, not a, not a dot. Okay, then you're gonna click on the icon with the circle, okay? And so when you click on that, you're gonna click this first, and then you're gonna move out so many units according to your radius. So I'm gonna move out five units. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna click here. And as I'm moving my um, cursor outward, toward where I need to go, you're going to notice that the circle is getting bigger and bigger and bigger so that eventually it can draw the circle around that point. I'm horrible at drawing, but you get the idea, okay? Um, so it'll your circle will look like this. You basically just want to make sure is your center in the correct coordinate and does it look like it's going five units out in all directions, right? And as long as it is, then you're good to go. That is correct. 